Come fly with us on board the world's greatest business class, on board Qatar Airways Q Suite from Chicago to Doha, where you get a fully enclosed suite, delicious drinks, delicious food on board, and you're treated to the famous double bed in the sky. Let's pick up our journey at Chicago O'Hare International Airport, and let's go check in for our flight. Let's go. Today is the day, y'all. Where we going, boo? Honeymoon, going to Maldives. We going to the Maldives, y'all. Yeah, I'm excited. And we're doing it in style. As and always. <laughs> <laughs> we're doing it in a Q-suite. We in line check in right now. Let's do it. All right, we made it through security. I haven't flown out of Terminal 5 in Chicago in so long. So there's the, the duty-free shops. Hi, babe. Hey. You excited? Very, Food court look exactly the same as I remember it. So we're about to head to the Swiss Port Lounge next to gate M13. Let's go. All right, so we made it to the Swiss Port Lounge. So if you're flying on a business class ticket with Qatar, or if you have status with One World, or if you're flying, I think, with Emirates and a whole bunch of other international carriers on a business class ticket, you can go in. Let's go in. So the Swiss Port Lounge at Chicago O'Hare is honestly a really sad excuse for a lounge. Hopefully with the airport expansion, they'll improve the lounge situation at chicago o'hare because this is absolutely pathetic look at the food selection it's pretty non-existent and this is also a priority pass lounge as well but it's only for business class passengers after 4 p.m for the evening international departures from chicago dark and go with chocolate pudding it was a childhood favorite. Even as an adult, it still slaps. All right, y'all, we just left the lounge. It's a bit of a trek from the Swiss Port Lounge to gate M34. We've been walking for the past like seven minutes. I'm tired already, y'all. <laughs> we walked for like the last like seven minutes and we're probably halfway there, <laughs> I think. But yes. I'm leaving you. <laughs> but um, we almost there. We board in an hour and some change. So we decided to leave the lounge early just because of the trek to get to the gate. <laughs> so we almost there. While walking towards our gate, you begin to notice the expansion of the international terminal at Chicago O'Hare. Look how high and bright the ceilings are and look how much light is coming in. This didn't used to look like this. So I'm pleasantly surprised at the expansion of the terminal. Welcome on board the Qatar Airways Boeing 777-300ER on board the world famous Q Suite. Notice the 121 configuration throughout the cabin. That means everybody gets direct aisle access and this is our home for the next 13 and a half hours. Let's get settled in. Upon getting settled in to our seats, you notice the big TV screen along with ample leg room. Let's get comfortable and let's get our pre-departure beverage. So I got the lemon mint. I've heard a lot about it. Let's give it a taste. You ready, babe? Yes, honey mom. I need another one. It's so good, y'all. Delicious. This is probably one of the best pre-departure drinks I ever had. And it's not alcoholic. That's surprising yep. me, but it's good. Y'all, look at these Q sweets. I'm ready to stretch out. Look at, look at all this space. Look at all this. Honeymoon is loading. We're ready to get this party started. This is how you travel in style. So when y'all go to y'all honeymoon, y'all got to get the Q suite, baby. Each Q-Suite 
has a unique storage area either on the left or right of you depending on which seat you choose. It'll contain a water bottle along with a storage compartment for miscellaneous things. You'll also find your headphones in there for the in-flight entertainment system. And it's illuminated so if the cabin lights are off, you can still see what's inside the storage compartment so you won't lose anything. Here are the seat controls. There's a seat function for every aspect of the flight, from takeoff to landing, to lying flat when you're ready to go to bed, to eating, and there's even a massage function. Absolutely amazing. The tray table is definitely one of the biggest I've ever seen. This tray table is absolutely huge. You can easily fit a 17 inch laptop on this table and have room to spare. That's how big this table is and it's sturdy. Dining experience on board Qatar Airways business class is truly premium, evident by the metal cutlery you receive, the salt and pepper shakers you see here, even this fake candle, which is the most extra thing I've ever seen on a plane, but it just adds to the opulent experience on board Qatar Airways business class. This particular appetizer was not on the menu, but it is king crab with avocado. Let's go ahead and see how this tastes. The king crab and avocado. Mm -hmm. Here is my actual appetizer. I chose the Arabic meze, which consists of pita bread, hummus, tembule, and matumbu. Absolutely delicious. What you got there, babe? Uh, I can't remember what this was. It looks like a soup. It's like a soup. It looks like a tomato soup. Looks good though. Mm -hmm. Get the bread in there. Well, this is like that pretzel bread from here. Oh. That would be what you got. Arabic mezzet. course I chose a seared corn fed chicken breast with sweet potato mussolini. Y'all when I tell you it was absolutely phenomenal full of flavor evident by my empty plate here absolutely destroyed that plate and for dessert I had fresh berries with black pepper syrup. This was definitely a nice way to cap off such a tasty meal. You got the chicken? What's your opinion on it? It's not that good. So it turns out that my wife's chicken was actually cold. That's the reason why she said it wasn't that good. So what she did was she got another one later. Let's see what she thinks of it. All right, chicken take two. It's good, boo. Mm -hmm. so as you can tell by her reaction, 
this plate was a lot better than the first one. Props to Qatar Airways for addressing it and fixing the issue right away. Oh yeah, she demolished that plate. Jesus. Man, we ate so much to the point where we got sleepy. So we asked the flight attendants to get our beds ready. Pro tip, when you book Q suites, always get seats E and F if you're traveling as a couple because that's where the double bed is. You may have to call Qatar Airways to reserve those seats because they'll block them off on the website because they're so popular. So definitely call and reserve those seats because the double bed is everything, y'all. Hi, babe. Ready for bed? Yes. How you feel, babe? room is really really good even if you're a side sleeper like myself so you can definitely get some rest on this flight all right so i got a solid four and a half hours of sleep i just ordered meal number two i'm hungry so with the the meal service up here it's actually a la carte dine on demand so you can eat whatever whenever as long as they have it I actually wanted the sea bass, but they didn't have any more, unfortunately. So I ordered the lamb shank, and it should be coming out shortly. Qatar Airways continues to impress by providing each passenger an amenity kit by the luxury brand Diptyque. According to my wife, this is a fantastic luxury brand. Inside, you'll find some hand cream, some facial cream, and some lip balm. And if you're a woman, you actually get your own specialized amenity kit. I've actually never seen that in business class. Usually everybody gets the same amenity kit on the plane. Shout out to Qatar Airways for being different and setting the standard of what luxury travel is all about. The in-flight entertainment in Q-Suite is actually really, really intuitive. It is very sensitive. I can touch it with my nail and the screen responds. There are thousands of TV shows, movies, music, and games to choose from. It is touch screen and you can also use it with the remote as well. With this remote, you can actually have one thing on the remote, such as a moving map and something else on the TV screen. So theoretically, you can have two things happening at the same time. Hey babe, what you got there? Oh, this is my breakfast. It's a fruit platter. My favorite thing to have for breakfast, no matter where I am in the world, is fruit. And this is some type of dessert. I don't know what it is, but I'm about to smash. Good, boo? Yes. <laughs> For breakfast, I chose the smoked salmon on some bread. Let's go ahead and see how this tastes. Show you. But you see one of them now. 
make sure y'all subscribe. I have no idea what this is. I stole it from you. <laughs> I eat some of the fruit. It's yogurt. Oh, oh, okay. That's right. Now I remember. Here's the bathroom on board. I expected it to be bigger for business class, but it's your standard airplane bathroom. There's not that much room in here, but it does a job. All right, y'all. So I just ate that that chicken quesadilla, and then she got. Then she said she got something else planned. I'm kind of scared, but let's find out. See what it is. Congratulations! Oh my God! Thank you. Thank you. you. <laughs> Y'all, I just really want to acknowledge Qatar Airways and how amazing they are for recognizing our occasion. They really went out the way to make us happy. This was amazing. Let's dig in. Hey, you taste that. Tell me what it is. It's absolutely delicious. It's our honeymoon cake, y'all. Even 10 minutes before landing, you're still being taken care of. They gave everybody some chocolate right before landing. The local time is 17.15 in the evening. For your safety, please remain seated with your seat. With your seatbelt fastened until the aircraft will come to a complete stop and the seatbelt sign is switched off. Please take care while opening the overhead compartment and ensure that you have your personal belongings and travel documents with you as you disembark the aircraft. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome to Qatar, babe. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm also, she gonna carry the bags. I'll take it. So you can feel we got the end of the content. Right, going to the transfer desk. There's the triple seven we just got off of. All right, y'all. So that was probably the greatest flight I've ever been on in my life. It was the quickest 13 hours ever. What you think? Boo? It went by so fast. It went by super fast. It was nice. So we got seven hours to kill here in Doha. So we're gonna go to seven the lounge. Hours so we're about to hit the lounge. <laughs> but yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed that cute, sweet experience as much as we did. Let's head to the lounge. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.